Hi everyone, welcome to another video on Glide. Today we'll take a look at the math column type and the template column type in Glide apps. Very recently I made a video um, showing how this template works. So this is the issue tracker template by Glide. Um, and I noticed something, uh, uh, a strange behavior in, in two columns from that template. So I said, okay, let me make a separate video um, showing how that works and how we can use the new Glide features to, to sort of um, to, to sort of achieve the same same goals. So let's take a look at it. Uh, but if you do if you do want to follow along, uh, feel free to head over to this URL and copy the app for free. So what I've done is I've already copied the issue tracker template, and as you can see, it's a list of issues. And the one that we're going to look at is this message reported seven or six days ago. Now, where is this data coming from? So if I look at the spreadsheet view of this data, I can see in the issues tab, if I scroll to the right, I can see that there's a column which captures when this issue was reported. Then there's a column which says the number, when, how, you know, how many days ago was reported, and then it puts it into a message saying it was reported this many days ago. So if I do change this to let's say 2020, it'll take a while, but it will, there you go, it did refresh it to a different number of days. Now, how I was curious of how this works, because if I look at the column type itself, I can see that it's a number column type. So there's nothing fancy going on here. If I look at this column, it's just a simple text column. So clearly the calculation is not happening here in Glide and this calculation is not happening here in Glide as well. Now if I um, look at the source, which is the actual spreadsheet that serves this data, So this is the issue tracker spreadsheet that Glide created. If I look at the issues tab, I can see that this data shows up here as well. And if I look at this particular cell, I can see that there's no formula as such. Um, and so really, if, if you want to do this calculation, either you've got to do it in Glide or you've got to do it in, or you've got to do it in the spreadsheet itself. But then I found out that it is actually in this cell, the hidden cell that they have actually added some calculations, some formulas to calculate, to calculate the reported number of days, uh, well, reported days since this issue was created and similarly with the message as well. Uh, so they've added, uh, added some, some formula to this. Now we want to try and not use an Excel formula. So I'm going to show you how to do this same thing in Glide itself. So let me go back to the template. Here we are, move this back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new column and let's call this um, reported or actually let's um, call this a different value. So let's say, let's call this issue age, right? because it's essentially how many days ago or, you know, uh, how many days ago since the issue was created. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the column type called math. Um, and in the formula, I'm going to um, write a formula, which would be now, minus um, um, minus the issue really and so this is a formula and now of course now an issue means nothing until you actually replace it with the appropriate values so now will be replaced with now which is 
today uh, so it automatically so glide supports this uh, dynamic field and it will automatically populate take care of this value for us we'll replace the value of issue with the reported value here and so now you can see if i click on done you can see that i've got similar values i've got similar values here and so i know that the formula does work now i don't need the exact decimal points so what i'm going to do is going to edit it and i'm going to in the precision i'm going to set it to one because i don't really require those points itself click on done and now i've got the issue age now i need to display this message so what i'm going to do now is create another column called issue message name it whatever you want and now from here I am going to select a template and then from here I'm going to say reported days ago now I'll replace the word X or the letter X with the value from issue age and there you go so I have this value right now um, and it is almost the same except for certain scenarios like when we have no value here so when the reported date itself was empty um, you don't have an issue age which means you don't have a proper message over here and then of course if I change this date to 1 so this is 5 31 21 this should be 1 and now I can see that it's reported one days ago. So I mean, if you want to be specific about um, the grammar, so it should be one day ago. So these little minor things are still need, we still need to take care of. So what we'll do is we will just um, replace this call. We'll rename this column and we'll call this well, staging. So we've got the message as a combination, but it's not the final column that we need to use. So let's create another column called issue age message. And here we'll use if then else. So if the reported, well, issue age staging is, um, reported space days ago then you say reported some time ago otherwise let's use whatever the value is coming from staging so obviously the if else condition worked um, and looks like everything went into the else condition but it's probably just a space here that was missing um, so let's take a look at it so you have this and you have reported another space maybe let's try that let's add another case for reported one days ago and see if that works so you have issue staging is reported one days ago Oops. then we give the value one day ago there you go so clearly that worked um, so it must be something to do with um, must be something to do with a weird character
There you go. So that was reported some time ago. And so that was missing an extra space. And so I kept it to done. There you go. So now we have we have sort of the same functionality without adding all the different formulas in um, the spreadsheet. We didn't have to write any of those formulas. Instead, we have just made use of the glide column types to, to sort of bring in the same functionality. So hope you like this quick video. Uh, and if you do, give it a like, um, comment and let me know what you think about it. Um, and yeah, do do share it with your network as well. Um, and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.